Do you and do I dare to rely on God? My dear brothers and sisters, are you facing a problem in your life? Well, the Syrophoenician woman in the gospel was facing a problem beyond her capacity to handle. All of us are familiar with the story of the Syrophoenician woman. The gospel, Mark chapter 7 verse 24 states, And he entered a house and would not have anyone know it, yet he could not be hidden. All of us know and believe that Jesus is God, and we know that nothing is impossible for him. So we also know that if Jesus wanted to hide, no one would see or find him. As at Emmaus, when the disciples themselves saw Jesus, yet didn't recognize him. But here Jesus was found because he wanted those who believed in him to approach him. This gospel passage reveals to us an important answer to our question, how to rely on God. We see the examples of children they have no worry, rather they trust their parents and face everything. When they have needs, they ask persistently till they receive. They don't feel embarrassed to ask their parents, even if there are people around them. When they are afraid, they run to their parents, having faith that they will protect them. At the same time, children listen to their parents, obey them and are thankful to them for their love. My dear brothers and sisters, like the Syrophoenician woman, we too face many trials, difficulties, problems and things which are beyond our capacity to handle. And the only reason God allows this in our lives is to draw us close to Him. Let us therefore make this decision to listen to Him, that is to read and obey His words, trust and have faith in Him, humble ourselves before Him and always seek to be near Him. The Syrophoenician woman's story is not just about her, but about each one of us. She was successful in relying on God. But do you and do I dare to rely on God? Let us therefore ask through the intercession of our Holy Mother Mary, that just like she always relied on God, we too may do the same. Amen.